This morning, the attorney is in, and we're talking about personal injuries from car accidents. And did you know that if you are in a wreck and you're injured, you only have one year to file that claim? David E. Gordon here to talk about that and answer your questions. A lot of people don't know that. You have well, a year. Well, let's, let's be clear. You have a year in Tennessee. Gotcha. You have a wide audience. In Mississippi, you have three years. In Arkansas, you have three years. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. Let's get started with some questions. Laura in East Memphis call, uh, writing in, I was rear-ended by a car back before Christmas. The airbag deployed and I broke some ribs. I am still waiting on the insurance company to cover my bills. We have gone back and forth. Is it too late to file a suit? As we just said, she has a year, so she still has a number of months. But many times people think that the insurance company is going to take care of going to take care of me. They wait until they get so close to that year, and then they find themselves in trouble. They find it difficult to get a lawyer at the last minute, etc. So, you know, we hate to see people do that. Yeah. So she should probably start thinking about taking some action. She should. All right, uh, Marion and Bartlett. My daughter was a passenger in a friend's car when the friend lost control, had a terrible crash. My daughter has a broken leg, was unable to take her final exams in college. Now I've learned that her friend doesn't have car insurance. What can we do? Well, that's, that's a hard one, but uh, you want to take a shot at that one, Ernie? Well, I guess if they have the uninsured motorist coverage, is that? You are right. Okay. You are right on, <laughs> you're right on target. The uninsured motorist coverage could be the child, that is, this child is in college, probably lives at home, could be the child's policy, or even could be the parent's policy that would, in, that would cover injuries in that situation. Would the parent have to have that child named on their policy? They would not, but the child would have to be in the household. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Suzanne in East Memphis, my car was badly damaged in a car wreck. was repaired for about $6,000. I know the resale value of the car is going to be lower now that it's been in a wreck. Shouldn't I be compensated for that? All right, another good question. When your car is badly damaged like that, mm. six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand dollars, we know the resale value is going to be less. Right. So you need to demonstrate that or bring that up to the insurance company by getting a statement from a dealer. What is this? What does the statement? What does the statement say? Yeah. The statement says that the uh, that this two thousand and uh, 12 Toyota Corolla was worth um, $12,000 before this accident. Mm -hmm. Now that it's been repaired, it's worth eight. Oh, okay. I think and so. That's a $4,000 diminished value claim. And so the insurance company would pay you that amount? They should. You're going to you're going to argue about it, but okay. you will get paid something for I it. I got to say, I think you're undervaluing the Cor uh, Corolla. That's a mighty fine car, Dave. <laughs> so uh, Marvin in North Memphis, I drive for a local company and was injured badly in a wreck last year. My company's workers' compensation has paid all of my medical bills and my lost wages. No one seems very interested in my pain and suffering. Who's going to pay for that? All right. If this accident was the fault of another driver and our viewer didn't tell us that, but if it was the fault of another driver who has insurance, then that insurance policy is going to pay his pain and suffering. Okay. That's where he needs to look. Okay. All right. Some, uh, he, he has two claims, workers' comp and auto. Okay. All right. Good answers. Uh, good questions, too, today, except for undervaluing the uh, fine Toyota Corolla. Uh, we'll be right back. This is Good Morning Memphis on Fox 13.